Man, in today's message, I'm gonna talk about how Western culture, Americans, are too picky in the job market and why the job market is about to be turned upside down. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the word says the harvest is plentiful. There is much to be gained. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, meaning there's not that many people that are willing to work hard. Man, I want you to think about just post COVID. People got used to staying at home. The government was giving out free money, conditioning people to not have to get out and earn their fair share, earn their keep. People got used to getting that mailbox money. Post COVID, man, people develop these job preferences to where they don't want to go out and work. People had these options uh, during COVID because of what it was to stay at home and work. Productivity went down the drain when you started allowing people uh, to work from home in their pajamas, basketball shorts, no clothes, you know, productivity went down the went down the drain. You know, uh, the mom who was uh, at one point going into work now has to stay home and manage the kids while trying to work. Productivity went down the drain. People developed some preferences that would would, would will definitely doom them in the near future. Post COVID, people started saying, "Man, I don't want to work." from a job where I got to go in, uh, you know, Monday through Friday. I don't want to work that. I want something to where I can work from home. And then on top of that, I want to work from home, uh, but I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. You know, some, some of these people are call, call center, rep, uh, you know, customer service reps with these crazy, uh, expectations. You have to think some of these jobs you can bid on your salary, but companies want cheap labor. They want cheap labor. This is why I'm always telling people to start something on your own, start something on your own, because what happened, I want you to think, you have people that came to this country 10 years ago illegally with a backpack with a backpack, came across that border and are, are standing up, uh, you know, 10 years later, uh, million dollar businesses, $500,000 a year earning businesses. And they came over here with a backpack. Some of them, not even that, with a bottle of water. In the American mindset, we got an entitled mindset. I deserve this and I'm entitled to that and uh, I'm an American this. Man, I want you to understand uh, when the word says, by the sweat of your brow, as a man, you're gonna have to labor and work. Now you start to realize how many people are truly following uh, the way of Messiah, truly following the book. Everybody has the book, claim to know the book, but everybody ain't doing it. So what does an employer do what does the government do when they see all of these people uh, that's got these preferences, uh, the job market far as actual people willing to work these jobs are going down the drain, uh, they're staffing shortages, but they fluff the numbers by creating these part-time positions to say that they're creating jobs because that's what's happening. When you look around, 
I want you to realize, uh, you know, when you go into Sam's Club, there was once those people that was checking your receipt. And I've been showing my wife, the minute they put up those uh, self-scanning uh, cart checkout things to scan your cart to make sure you haven't stole anything, I said, like two months ago, I said, I told my wife, I said, man, right now they got three people checking receipts as you walk out the door. We went about two weeks ago and it was down to one person. And I said, man, that lady don't even realize uh, they're about to cut her hours down to nothing and make you quit because the machine is going to do the work. Man, there is a wide open market when it comes to uh, jobs that require a trade or an actual skill. Man, these people go get these college educations uh, and take out all this debt in this country because that's the American way to keep you in debt and get out here and are working minimum wage jobs. And what do some of these people do? They run back and go get more education. You've got a bachelor's, a master's, you know, a double, a double bachelor's, double master's, and you still can't get a job. When will people realize that, uh, man, they're, 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 the education system, man, they'll let you take a dog on, uh, uh, get a degree in underwater basket weaving and toilet paper sewing. Doesn't mean you're gonna have a, 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 a prosperous life. But here's another one, Americans, with these job preferences. I want my own office. I don't wanna work in a cubicle. I don't want nobody over me. All of this, but guess what? When you see that Texas border crisis, man, you got people that came over here, like I said, had a backpack to their name. Maybe, maybe a water bottle. And give it, give it 10 years. These people come from countries where they will do damn near anything to make a way for themselves. And this is the land of opportunity. But for a lot of people that live here, uh, you feel entitled as you don't have to work. And that's why the word says the harvest is plentiful. You got people that came across the border 10 years ago and have made more for themselves, uh, you know, a better life for their family and future generations than you did. They don't even have a high school diploma, but you know what they got? They got work ethic. When, when, when you're sitting up here saying, oh, I couldn't work in that heat, they out there getting it with these hands. Out here getting it. And here's the problem. Man, they're taking over so many different areas. You know, when you go look and when I go to Lowe's and I see the shift in contractors, you gotta look. Now they're running these companies. They used to be uh, at Lowe's you know, waiting to be the labor, waiting to get selected to help somebody else who owns the company. Now it's not even that way. Now uh, they're the ones doing and owning these companies. They're no longer standing out there talking about we will work, we need work at Lowe's and Home Depot. No, they're running the business. Why? Because you don't want to do it. And at one point in time, man, they had the cheapest prices. And that was only for a while. Now, people that came here with nothing are getting paid the highest prices on these jobs. They work harder than you. You know, they get it done quicker than you. They get it done uh, with a better quality. You got all this damn education, all this schooling, and are still failing at life. And... You don't think that these people that they just let across them Texas borders is not about to get it out in the mud? Them jokers will lay carpet, they'll clean houses, you know, do whole, and you gotta think, their strength is in numbers. They, they will stay in one house, they will stay in one house, have eight people. The women out there is doing maid work at hotels, taking all the work they can get. The men is out there taking work, doing jobs, everybody putting their money together and they're operating as a small community. And, and, and once they get a large enough pool to it, now they're gonna, okay, we're gonna turn this into a business. We're gonna go from the laborers to the owners. 
Meanwhile, the American mindset is, uh, let me get out here and I wanna be a millionaire. So you go out 25 years old, 30 years old, go buy a four bedroom house, finance it, 30 year mortgage. You wonder why you're financially struggling. It's one of you living in a, five, a four or five bedroom house. You want people to think that you are successful when these people are shacking up, living off the bare minimum and thriving. A lot of Westerners want people to feel sorry for them because they're having financial struggles. Oh, mortgage is so high. The interest is so high. X, Y, and Z car notes are so high. You know, it's just not even possible anymore. It's possible if you weren't so doggone selfish. See, a lot of these people, you know, are about to turn the job market upside down. And if you got all these preferences for what you will and won't do, oh, don't worry about it. What you won't do, somebody else will, and they will create a way for these people to have an opportunity where you where you didn't want the opportunity. And it's the same way like I tell women, you could get so picky as a woman in saying what you're not gonna do as a wife that you pretty much make yourself look like an eligible roommate, not a wife because you don't offer wife qualities. And you cannot be pissed when the man that you said, no, 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 I got this preference, this preference, this preference, this preference, uh, goes somewhere else and, and, and finds what he's looking for. Because you offered very little, but wanted so much. And that's the same thing that's about to happen in the job market. That's the same thing that's about to happen in the job market. You gotta think when it comes to plumbing, when it comes to uh, general contracting, when it comes to construction, you know, these people have, the people that come over here, give them five years. Give them five years, 10 years. See, you struggling to pay uh, that car note for $30,000, $40,000, and you're in a cycle of constantly uh, buying a new car every two years, when they will save up $100,000 for a dually, go pay cash, start a business, and ride that dually till the wheels fall off. Got a different mindset. You know, they're not running from no hard work. You know, they're not raising up their men to uh, want to sit in the AC and play video games. You see these people that come over here that are immigrants, they got their kids working with them on the job. You know, I had a neighbor in El Paso. He used to take his doggone boys to work with him. He was a painter, lived in the same neighborhood uh, we did. I'm telling you, man, these people are about to, and you see the mixed multitude of people that came across that border, they about to change the job, they about to flip the market on you. And a lot of these little jobs that that uh, you think that you're too good for, guess what? There's a whole line of people waiting to take your damn job if you got a lazy and entitled mindset. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.